What's going on YouTube? Today's tutorial is going to be about iframes. Basically, I'll show you how to enter an iframe and how to exit an iframe. On this page, we have three different iframes, so I'll just use all of them as an example to show you how to move in and out of them and how to get data from them. Uh, so the problem with iframes is that when you have an iframe on the page, you actually do not have access to the data inside that iframe. Um, I mean, you as yourself, you do like you can inspect uh, the code, right? You can actually go into the iframe and you can see what the code is. But if you're using WebDriver, right, WebDriver won't be able to access any of these elements from the context of the original page, meaning this page, unless you specifically enter whatever iframe that you want to work with. And then WebDriver will have the context of all of these elements, but then you are kind of stuck within within this particular iframe, and you actually need to exit it if you want to uh, continue have access to uh, the element on the original page, like this page, right? If I if I switch to this iframe and I want to click this button, I won't be able to do that because WebDriver doesn't have any idea of this button. It, for web driver, it, it doesn't exist. But if we actually exit the iframe, we will be able to do whatever we want on this page. So let's go ahead and get started. I will have the link to this page in the de description. So let's go ahead and create a new file here, call it iframe tutorial. And let's import on from, let's do from selenium import web driver and then we're going to declare our driver and we're going to use chrome for this particular uh, tutorial um, and then we're going to use a driver to navigate to the page which you'll have the link in the description so now here i'm going to create a variable i'm going to call this variable iframes and I'm going to use my driver to find different elements, um, elements by tag, where is the tag, by tag name, and the tag name for this is iframe. So now that we have all of the iframes on the page and the web driver will give me a list of all of this iframes that we have on this page, this one, this one, and this one in order, meaning that I will have a list of them and it's gonna start with this iframe at index zero, one, and two. So now is the magic part. Now we're gonna say web driver, this is where we switch to uh, the iframe. And actually web driver has uh, two different methods for switching and one is deprecated. Uh, so we have this method here, switch to frame and switch to dot frame. This is the one that's new uh, method. This is the one that you should use. Uh, the, uh, the other one is actually deprecated. Don't use it if you can help it. Um, so over here, what we need to pass in is the web element of the frame itself. So since we already have a list of frames, we can actually just reference it and I'm interested in the very first uh, frame that I got which is going to be index 0 so I'm going to pass that in and then I can actually print something I can use my driver to find um, find an element and let's just see what we can what kind of element we can find I'll just print something so here we have ID uh, map zero so let's just print class for this uh, div so we're going to find element by ID and get attribute class so all I want to do is just print this out now let me just show you that if you don't have the switch statement it this uh, call is not going to work. So let me just run this. So it opened the page and then it says unable to locate whatever element um, that I passed in there. So now close that window. Now 
do the switch and now if I run this opens the page and then prints out the class so um, that works right so now we need to switch to a different frame right but we are in the context of this frame so first before we can switch to a different iframe we need to switch to the default content where we started from and then we can actually go ahead and start switching to other frames so let's just uh, do frame two and frame three now remember this is a Python index so it's actually the frame two is at uh, index one um, so over here for the second iframe we can switch or we can find something by tag and we do have image in there so let's just print the source of that image and then switch back to the original content switch to the third um, iframe and then we can find something by link probably then I did saw a link there so where is link text and link text there was scroll all the way down here just copy that that's our link text and we'll just click that um, let's see what happens when we click this it actually opens a different tab so that's what we should expect to see is a new tab open and then we'll just switch back so let's see if that works so we should see two prints and a new tab open all right there is a tab we have our prints so let's see we do have um, we do have the source for the image right main kill so basically that's the tutorial guys pretty short pretty simple i uh, hope it helped you out if it did help you out make sure to like the video subscribe and share helps a lot thank you guys for watching and take care